Hey, it's Mike Draper. Thanks for tuning in to Home Means Blog today. And we did a little role reversal. I'm here with two very good friends, people I've worked with for a long time. They, I, I had the uh, privilege of being asked by both Alex and, and Kai to, uh, to join them today. Um, I know they've spent a lot of time really trying to tell stories, not just on this blog, but as most of you know, throughout their careers. And I think that they're ready to really, really focus on telling stories, sharing stories that, that many of you might not have heard. Am I right? Absolutely. And I don't know if you all know how the whole process works, but people like Mike would annoy us, send us a lot of emails, maybe text us a lot and say, I have this story idea. Will you do a story? Sometimes they were good ideas, sometimes eh, maybe not so much <laughs> according to the, were. I mean all of my stories are fabulous, <laughs> but according to the news you know, standards and guidelines, there are just some stories that you simply cannot tell. And so this is a platform for us to kind of tell some of those stories, but even though we did the story at the spa, that's a story I've done before in the news, yep. but I've never done it with you before. Exactly. And never with that angle. So we, right. even though some of the stories you might see um, still on TV, it's still totally different from what you're getting on the blog. And really an open forum in a lot of ways for yes. people to connect in their own communities uh, in any way that they find needs to be shared. I love it. So telling the stories you guys couldn't tell where you were on the air, right? Whether they were too emotional or too light or yeah. just, you know, sharing interesting people, businesses, stuff going on in the community. That's really what you guys are focusing on. Yeah. Well, and how this whole thing started was at the Oyster Fry up in Virginia City. And Kai and I did a Facebook Live together, which I don't know if other reporters do that. <laughs> on their I mean, station's blog with another competing yeah, reporter. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm you know what I mean? Alex it, didn't get and it. Mess with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but people were saying you guys should, you know, have a show together and whatever. And it just turned into us going to the food truck Fridays. Yes. And we started doing these Facebook Lives together in the morning, and people liked it. And so when it was time to make the transition into PR, I was like, Kai, we should we should do something with this because it's fun. I mean, we couldn't go on air and eat bull balls together, but we could do it on Facebook, and now we have a right. platform that we can. Side note on the Food Truck Friday thing that we did, on our live shot, live on Channel 2, <laughs> Alex and her photographer sprint out of our live shot. So even Alex was on Channel 2 for, for a brief moment. She's never met a camera she didn't know. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. You guys have to have, though, just you know, a million different story ideas that you, you and I talk, used to talk about this when we were working together and when you were at the news, that stories have sounded really cool. So are you guys going to be dusting some of those off and, and sharing those on this blog? So one of my, sorry to keep taking over, but I have a okay. really a story that I'm excited to share. If you ever watch News 4, I did a series on workouts to do for your New Year's resolutions, and I highlighted different local businesses that were not just going to the gym and lifting weights, but actually class-based workouts one of which is pole fitness. Now, the second time I aired this, I did it for two years in a row. Pole, I, pole, like explain, like an actual pole. Yes, but it's not a stripper class, <laughs> it's an actual fitness class. Yes, yes, And yes. Kai and his photographer, Luis, made fun of me that morning. Yeah. I'm bringing he Kai. He doesn't even know what those places are. He's only heard about them. Well, he's gonna learn because we're taking Kai to pole class. Oh, are and, we? Oh, we are. And we're gonna show you just how hard it is. Is Mike invited? If you want to come. I'm in. I'm in. I mean, well, he had to twist his arm. <laughs> I, I might not know exactly what you're talking about. So, are you guys also looking, so in addition to stories you couldn't tell, that, that you have in your mind rattling around that you'd love to tell, are you, do you want people to shoot you emails and, yeah. and comment on the, the blog with other additional ideas? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what makes this so fun and so freeing, is that we're in complete control yeah. of this yeah. Yeah. and we want you to be able to do that and have it as, a, as an open forum and a way for you to share your community. I know how many times I've reached out to, to one of you or some of your colleagues in the news and was like, this is a great story. Completely understood that maybe it wasn't the right format on a 30 minute oh. news program, but man, it's a great story. In a minute and a half. That's exactly we don't right. Have it time might take five minutes exactly. to tell the right. story or a couple mm -hmm. of different times and you're not, you're, you know, you don't have those constraints. I, yeah. I think it's really exciting. You got any teasers for us? Um, I'm doing a follow-up on my face with my skincare, and so I did go to a dermatologist, and I'm gonna be doing a laser treatment on my face. So we're gonna be doing a follow-up with that. Mm -hmm. Kai told me about it; he did it, and so I'm gonna give it a shot, and hopefully that works. It's painful, so I'm gonna get it on camera. You going? Ah, ah, ah. 
it is very. Funny. I've done pole fitness. Oh, okay, okay, I okay. Have, okay. We have, but we haven't yeah. seen any follow-ups to Kai's, or Kai's uh, dating and Tinder oh. profile. Well, that's because Kai's not swiping through. Oh, so, uh, Mike. I, well, I help Mike. You gotta bring that up. You gotta let me help you out and actually <laughs> go through with the process. Oh, I help know. Mike. Oh. It hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't worked. Yeah. That might be the subject, though. See? Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. worked. No. See? You just have to swipe. See? I mean, we took him to the spa, so we're trying to do little things to help Kai out here. <laughs> but once he gets the date, maybe we'll have to do a post on what should Kai's first date be. Are we going to live blog the date? <laughs> maybe we should vote on you what. I, I feel like she would be down. And we'll that. do a poll. We'll do a poll on Instagram stories. What his date is going to be. I like this. I'm put the kibosh. This is a great all of this right now. I think you're missing out on a story that you couldn't tell. Oh, okay. We're tuning in every week for a new story. Yes. Engaging, entertaining, poignant, emotional. Obviously, we're going to do a feature on Mike. Laughs and tears, there will be both. <laughs> Laughs and tears during that one. Okay, here you go. Bye. Great. great.